All right, so me and Adrian are out here just doing some local herping near me, and we were walking along checking these rocks, and how we walked past this, I don't know. Look at this beautifully colored box turtle. I mean, what a beaut. I don't know how we almost missed that. <laughs> Handsome. So I think we might have walked like 50 meters up this railroad track here after we saw the last box turtle. And then another one right there. Now that's as male as it gets. You can see his red eyes right there. He's, I mean, this is perfect box turtle weather. So that is awesome. Two box turtles today. I'll take it. So this is incredible. We just walked up on another box turtle out on the move. This rain must be really doing it for them. That's definitely a female. That is insane. Just on this railroad trail here, three box turtles. I'll take it. How do we not notice this? Adrian's photographing the one. Just glance up. And there's number four right there, smaller one. This is insane. I have never seen this many box turtles all in one group. This is maybe not even 200 meters of walking. We've already found four. This isn't even funny anymore. Here's number five. I guess it's just the rain that is bringing these guys out. But that's box turtle number five in like 20 minutes. That's insane. All right, big shocker. We're on our way. We're at the same spot, but to go flip some cover. Box turtle number six of the day. All of these have been really good looking ones too. Awesome. This is a female, I think. Got a lot of pattern on her face, but not very red eyes. Too cool. So after a day of not flipping anything, um, and you can't complain about a day of uh, finding six box turtles, Adrian and I just had the most unique triple flip. So we flipped this water snake, who has torn me up pretty good, but calmed down, a racer that got away, and then this melanistic hognose, who's pretty deep in shed that I thought was a racer at first because I'm a moron. Wow. Most unique triple flip I've ever had. But, yeah, I'll take it. So this uh, little guy hasn't played dead on us yet. Uh-huh. But he is hooding up a lot. So we're just going to take a few more pictures and then let him go back under his cover with his water snake friend and maybe the racer will come back to him. What a beaut. So to add to the species count, ring neck. Not as impressive as a hog nose, but we'll take it. Alright, so this was a really nice surprise. I've been out most of the day and probably see him already right off the trail here it's a beautiful eastern copperhead I'm gonna get a little bit closer here but that's an awesome find for the day that that really saves me <laughs> yep. it's a beautiful sub-adult copperhead right here like I said I've been out all day so this this find really saves me. <laughs> this is generally a smaller one. Um, I mean, this would still be a trip to the hospital, but they do get bigger than this. But yeah, that's a. This is my first Mid Atlantic Copperhead of the year. I found one down in North Carolina, but up here in like the 
you know, like Pennsylvania, Jersey, Maryland area. This is my first one of the year, so that's pretty cool. Hoping there's more out. This is a shaded spot right here. He's just banking on me not seeing him, but that's really cool. So I've taken enough pictures of this guy, but this is just a good example of how misunderstood copperheads are. I'm about three feet from this snake right now, and he hasn't budged one inch. He is just relying on the fact that I think he's blended in with the leaves and the foliage right here, and that I can't see him. He's not acting aggressive or anything. Now, if I reach down and try to grab him or step right next to him, that could be a different story, but really awesome find today. Like I said, this really saved me. I went to a spot earlier and struck out on um, queen snakes. So this really helps. So this is awesome. Just got to this one park. Um, not too far from where I live. And I had heard there were queens here before. And I showed up and there was a Nerodia. I barely got any video of him just going right up the river, or the stream right here, river. Flipped my first rock, queen snake. I'm like, awesome. Again, I knew they were here. But, this is really cool. So awesome finding this snake here just rarely happens to me where I set out and both of my targets for the year or for the day I find I wanted to find a queen snake and a copperhead for the month of May and it's May 31st and found both of them I'll take it all right I'm gonna let this guy go I've taken enough pictures there you go awesome so it's not a queen snake, but this is the third Nerodi I found today. Flipped him and a probably a sibling under this rock. Uh, pretty cool. Good species diversity here. All right, so on this busy road, found this handsome rat snake just stretched out, just waiting to get run over, but we're gonna. Get him off the road here. Have him go on his way. Stay off the road. Go that way. Awesome. So this is pretty cool. I'm on my way to work and found this uh, little snapping turtle about to cross the road. So I'm going to get him to the other side. He's just little. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Too. Anthony flipped these two copperheads right here. Right side. along this rock bed. It's such a random flip. It's pretty cool. of them right there that's cool nice and we also found a real unshed milk snake we'll take it we're just gonna use this really in shed milk but still not a bad day finding copperhead and milk right away nice <laughs> 